Hi, this is Steve Yee, Director of Product Management for SQL Azure. In this walkthrough, we're going to look at SQL Azure editions and go over how to understand usage and billing. For specific info on the most current pricing and offers, visit the SQL Azure website to learn more. This talk will cover the following. In the first section, we'll explore the business value of using SQL Azure and how to select the right subscription for your application. Next, we'll review the SQL Azure editions and discuss how the different pricing meters work. Then, we'll go over meters for data transfer and also go over what is charged and what's free. In the fourth section, we'll see how to obtain billing and usage information from the customer and developer portals. SQL Azure offers the scale and functionality of an enterprise database, accessible anywhere, hardware maintenance, software updates and patches, disaster recovery, and scalability are taken care of for you. SQL Azure Database offers easy to understand and predictable pricing meters based on database size and input output from the cloud. Additionally, every SQL Azure Database provides high availability and failover with multiple background instances. SQL Azure enables you to provision databases in just minutes, and with the pay-as-you-grow model, you can easily and economically extend your cloud-based database needs. When it comes to choosing which type of subscription to purchase, there are two types to choose from when purchasing a Windows Azure platform subscription. The first is consumption-based. This requires no commitment. You pay only for what you use. The second type of offer is a commitment offer that provides a significantly discounted level of service to use the service over a period of time. Visit the SQL Azure website for a full list of offers and packages that also include other Windows Azure platform services. SQL Azure is offered in two editions. The Web Edition database is best suited for web and departmental applications with smaller data sets. This edition supports databases with a maximum size of five gigabytes with pricing increments of one gigabyte or five gigabyte database sizes. The Business Edition is best suited for line of business and enterprise applications. This edition supports databases 10 to 50 gigabytes in size in pricing increments of 10 gigabytes. Both editions are supported by the SQL Azure SLA. Check the URL shown on your screen for the latest info on pricing and special offers. There are trial and introductory offers to get started at no cost. Billing begins with the creation of a SQL Azure subscription. Let's now switch our attention to understanding the pricing meters. There are two pricing meters for SQL Azure Database. Database size constitutes the first meter, and data transfer in and out of the cloud is the second. A monthly fee is charged for each SQL Azure Database, except for master databases, which don't incur a charge. The database fee is amortized over the month and is charged daily. The daily fee depends on a couple of factors, the peak size of the database during that day, the price of the addition and size increment that database fits within. Let's walk through some examples to make this clearer. For the following examples, we'll use a SQL Azure Web Edition database. Let's see how the pricing is calculated. In our first example, let's take a look at a database where daily peak size never exceeded 800 megabytes over a month-long period of time. The nearest price increment is the one gigabyte Web Edition priced at $9.99 per month in US dollars. Using a 30-day month, the daily cost is about 33 cents a day, which equals $9.99 for the month. In our second example, our same database had a peak size of no more than 800 megabytes for 26 days, and there were four days where the peak size reached two and a half gigabytes. There are 26 days at the one gigabyte web edition pricing, and then four days at the five gigabyte web edition pricing of $49.99 per month. Because the cost per day for the one gigabyte level is 33 cents, we multiply 26 days by 33 cents and get $8.58. We have four days where peak size was at the five gigabyte level, so we multiply $1.66, the daily cost for this level, by four days to get $6.64. Added together, our total monthly cost is $15.22. So to summarize, pricing for SQL Azure Web Edition databases comes in at 1 gigabyte and 5 gigabyte versions, rounded up to the nearest pricing increment, and the fee is amortized over the month, charged daily, depending on the peak size the database reaches each day. 
A web edition database can be expanded to a business edition database starting at 10 gigabytes, increasing to 50 gigabytes in 10 gigabyte increments, and back down again in your build in arrears based on your utilization. Now let's move on to the second pricing meter, data transfer. The second pricing meter is data transfer in and out of the cloud. You may decide to write a web application on Windows Azure that uses a SQL Azure database. If both are located in the same data center, no data transfer fees are charged for data going back and forth between Windows Azure and SQL Azure. If you are transferring data from one SQL Azure database to another and they are both located in the same data center, there is no data transfer fee charged. However, if you are transferring data from one data center to another, or if you are accessing the database from on-premises, data transfer fees do apply. These costs are calculated over the month and are billed as gigabytes transferred. We've made the data transfer model straightforward and easy to understand as possible. Now that we understand how SQL Azure database is billed, let's walk through how to find the monthly bill and review the database and data transfer charges. At the end of your billing cycle, you'll receive an email regarding your bill. Let's visit the Windows Azure developer portal to see specifics and review your usage. Click on Billing to take you to the Windows Online Services portal or go there directly by visiting mocp.microsoftonline.com. If the links for View Bill and Subscription aren't active, click Sign In on the top right. The page will refresh and you can click View My Bills. Another browser window will open. This window will show the account information for your order, payment method, and billing cycle. To view the specifics for your subscription to SQL Azure, click on the View Online Bill link in the upper left. If we scroll down the page about halfway, we see the data transfer and SQL Azure usage charges. Because I'm using a free introductory offer, there aren't any charges. We can click any of the three links provided here to see specifics. I'm going to click on the SQL Azure usage link. Here we see the addition and usage data for the database. Now let's go back and click through the data transfer usage link to review our usage for that meter. As you can see, we put up-to-date information about your account at your fingers. Now I'm going to show you how to review the list of databases in your subscription. Go ahead and open the Windows Azure development portal. Since I started this walkthrough from here, I'll switch windows. I simply open my subscription and navigate to my database server. When I click on the database server name, the center pane of the page displays a list of my databases, edition of the database, and maximum size and current size. Today we've covered the different editions of SQL Azure databases and walked through the pricing meters of database size and data transfer. Finally, we reviewed where to find data on our usage and bill, and also how to review the costs. SQL Azure is a powerful, scalable, self-managing database service with no physical administration required, enabling simple provisioning and deployment, which offers competitive pay-as-you-go and pay-as-you-grow pricing. With SQL Azure, you can extend the value of any data-driven application, whether on-premises or cloud-based. Microsoft has a number of tools and resources to help you implement your SQL Azure solution. There are several trial and introductory offers available to get started at no cost. Visit our website for the latest information. There is also a return on investment and total cost of ownership calculator to help you evaluate your needs. In less than 10 minutes, you can compare SQL Azure to on-premises solutions, quantify migration costs, and get a pricing overview specific to your projected needs. To learn more about SQL Azure, including upcoming events and news, read our blog, explore case studies, and join the online community at sqlazure.com.